Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God. For the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. <clears throat> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and the great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people, and it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The Word of the Lord. All you nations praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord loves, the gates of Zion more than any dwelling place of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. I tell of Egypt and Babylon, among those who know the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, this man was born there, and of Zion they shall say, one and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. They shall note, when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within you. All you nations, praise the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My, heap, my sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, <coughs> How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. <coughs> The works I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe 
because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. We find these words of Jesus to be very comforting. We find these, these words of, of Jesus to be very reassuring that, that he and the Father are one and that we, members of, of his flock, the sheep, we who are incorporated into the body of Christ, members of, of, of the church, Christians, little Christs, if you will, members of, of the church, the body of Christ, living stones, all of these wonderful analogies, we find them very comfortable. They reassure us that, 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 that we are with Christ and Christ is with us and that, that we're, we're practically of, of one and the same. We're, we're of one accord with each other and with with the Lord, where heart speaks to heart. But there are many who find Jesus' words in the Gospel passage today very challenging. There are many, and certainly those who were hearing this, among them, many found his words very challenging, very challenging and, and, and hard to face hard to face and so we're we're talking more and more now about 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 the voice right in a time where we're asked to to cover our face put those face masks on right and so so we continue on with, with this week with that message that we heard on Sunday and yesterday Jesus is the good shepherd we continue on with that and we're his sheep and we hear his voice right and when we hear the voice of the shepherd, we turn to him. We turn to him. When the, when the sheep hear the voice of the shepherd, they don't turn to one another, they turn to him. They all, with, with one accord, turn to our Lord. We, the sheep of his flock, do the same. And that, too, can be very challenging. It's not easy always to face the Lord. When we face the Lord, we, we see the one in, in whose image we are created. When we, when we are face to face with God, we, we, see, we see one in whose image we are created and, and yet, yet one who, who, who is so different. We, we, are, we are confronted with our brokenness when we are face to face with God. And we ask ourselves internally, how can it be? <clears throat> how can it be that I'm, I'm made in his image? He's perfect and I'm not. I only see my brokenness. I see the difference. But in Jesus, in facing him, the good shepherd, we no longer experience the brokenness. Instead, we now see in him our final destiny. Perfection brought about by him through his grace. Health, wholeness, and holiness given to us as a gift that comes with salvation in Jesus Christ.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Deus Dominus Sabaoth, Pleni Suceli et Terra Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fidei. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity 
together with Francis our Pope and John our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <clears throat> Pater noster, quies in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in celo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amalo. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Dona nobis pace. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. Alleluia.
Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and to ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.